Hi, participant from the Saints Conference 2021. This time virtually and not face to face in Amsterdam. So, welcome to my session. In this session, I will present you the new product of Decent Lab. And in the second part, I will show a bit our devices in the wild, how uh, they are installed and what they perform, what kind of measurement and what they report. So let's jump immediately to the new product. So here you can see our newest, the DLPM. It's the particulate matter, temperature, humidity and parametric pressure sensor for LoRa 1. As you see already quite some parameters. The most relevant and the new is the particulate matter sensor. It measures PM1, 2.5, 4 and gives also estimates for PM10. So <coughs> particulate matter measurements are needed in the urban and ambient air quality monitoring. But not only for that, we also have that for construction sites that we have uh, some safety for the local construction workers, also nearby critical infrastructures so that they are not dust entering, for example, in data centers or so through the ventilation and uh, other uh, applications. Further as well, where we have dust environment, for example, in mining or in other environments. Our first device we have installed at EMPA, the Swiss Federal Institute of Material Science and Technology. Uh, we mounted it next to a reference site, so we compare it to the high precise reference instruments uh, to really um, be able to compare its performance. So here on the next, you see a plot over the last months. Um, recording the values and um, we have also the cross comparison which uh, aligns very well to the reference. And always a uh, fun fact is uh, our look particulate matter concentration during New Year. So uh, here you can see in that plot uh, the very low particulate matter concentrations in normal days and then you see how it peaks towards midnight and we have a super high um, particulate matters in the air. Um, fortunately, um, it's washed out quite quickly after, the, after one day. And so um, yeah, it's always fascinating to see how, how big the impact of fireworks can be to your uh, air around you. So we have not only new products in the air quality, we have also new parameter in the water quality. So we have our DL Optot, which is measuring the opti optical dissolved oxygen in water. This is, beside the electrical conductivity, another quality parameter which is relevant in water. Further, we are looking forward to also integrate uh, on customers' needs and pH, turbidity and more uh, quality para parameters for water. We have also not new product, but I would say uh, variations of existing product or where we extend the use uh, of application. First of all, we have a DL MBX um, which measures ultrasonic distance for um, uh, water levels in sewer networks and also for open water. We have now a new version where we have detached the sensor head uh, with a cable. I will show uh, quickly for what reason we do that and we have this now. Further, we have a DL MBX 004 and 004. Five. These two have uh, 
a lower horn and an extension and or uh, new variants with new tuning with the aim to focus on silo levels. So uh, in contrast to liquid silo levels where we have uh, kernels and broken kernels or powders are far more difficult to measure than uh, a flat liquid surface. And here we come up with, with two new uh, devices for that purpose. So coming back just to, to the one before, with the, de the center head detached uh, for distance measurement, here you see uh, two installations and um, pictures uh, which uh, show installations in the sewer network uh, for retention um, basins uh, from the city of Zurich. Uh, these two um, setups were installed by our customer and uh, shows very nice uh, uh, a good installation. The reason to do the uh, sensor to be detached is that sometimes the sensor position is way uh, below ground or on a location where you have very bad signal for lower land coverage. So you want to have detached the sensor position from the lower land transmission unit. Now we go over the ground, but we stay in Zurich. Here you can see our wind speed and wind direction um, device installed on the light pole in the city of Zurich. Um, uh, this picture was taken during the very recent winter storm or snowstorm. Um, the, de the device is used for urban heat island and urban climate measurements uh, for city planning. But uh, this picture also just uh, shows also an issue. Sometimes you also get bad data from our devices, not because uh, it's not performing as it should, but uh, when it's covered with snow. Um, now we go a little bit more to the warmer region, uh, to plantations. So we have customers uh, which are plantation owners uh, in Mozambique, in Brazil, where there are soil moisture profile sensors deployed uh, widely. And it measures the profile from uh, 10 cm down to 80 cm and reports the moisture and the temperature every 10 cm. Uh, you can see how such a sensor was installed on site and the map showing some of them uh, in a dashboard. <clears throat> the soil moisture profile sensors deliver relevant uh, important data to conserve water, which is uh, uh, not very accessible in these regions or unlimited. So, we can, with a good uh, irrigation planning, conserve a lot of water and on the other side to keep um, the plants and the trees in a very optimal condition that the yield and the harvest uh, is then even higher than uh, when you have no monitoring available and just do it based on estimates. So we go back to winter. <clears throat> Here you see our temperature and humidity device uh, decorated with art, but as well um, here in uh, snowy conditions from the same snowstorm. Uh, it measures temperature and humidity in this context for urban heat islands, but the same device we have now widely used um, for frost monitoring in smart agriculture, uh, for example in vineyards and as well uh, in sites in Switzerland. Now uh, we go back again to the warm. Here you can see um, our liquid level pressure and temperature sensor which is installed in a water tank in a refugees camp uh, by the UNHCR with the devices with the 
With our devices, we report the level of these water tanks and so help in the refugee's tank to optimize distribution of the water and that there is always water available in the different sites where um, water um, can be collected. Here uh, you can see our wind speed and wind direction monitoring device installed on a racetrack for Bloodhound Land Speed Record. Our devices were used uh, by Digital Catapult to um, report uh, the wind speed and the wind direction along the 20 km racetrack and so to have uh, information along the whole track if it's safe to do the runs um, and that it is safe from, from that perspective. I remember in 20, 2019 I deployed our very first uh, indoor ambience monitors at the SINGS conference in Amsterdam and showed a real-time demo where I also measured real-time values of the conference when you um, showed CO2 concentration, the temperature, and the humidity and so on. At that time <coughs> The corona uh, pandemic was not a topic or didn't exist yet. Um, but now the same device with the CO2 concentration reporting is now widely used by our customers to give information about potential bad air and contaminated air um, in offices, in restaurants or schools. And so and contributes as well to, to reduce the risk of uh, infection. So our devices are also brought into the Swiss Parliament where more than 250 people un did unite for the sessions and uh, also our device was brought to the session to monitor the air quality in the Swiss Parliament. So I hope you enjoy our session, uh, you got uh, some new information about the product we have recently uh, made available. You got a glimpse how our devices are used and uh, never hesitate to contact us over our social media channels uh, during the virtual conference over the conference uh, channels or just drop us an email and then we can also arrange a meeting, a Zoom call or Teams call. Thank you for listening and keep enjoying the SYNCS conference as we do as well. Bye!